Mr. Conductor, where are you? I know you live far away, but you always seem to get here on time. My tastes are very singular. You wouldn't understand. Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you all right? Yes, Thomas, but sometimes everything happens at once. I have to see Sir Topham Hatt to get my orders right away. What do you mean he's unhealthy? How do you know? Um, the journey from Shining Time keeps getting bumpier and bumpier. Does it? Every day I'm lotion. You talking to me? You talking to me? Oh, they... A big bully diesel is back, Mr. Conductor. You had better be careful. Sir Topham had warned me about Diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll just pop in and out with my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. Good morning. I leave now. Why? I don't know why I came in here. I don't like these movies. Well, I mean, I, you know, I didn't know that you, you'd feel that way about this movie. I don't know much about movies. The nice. Oh, 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 oh. Number nine. Could just take all my clothes off. Old Mick Diesel had a plan. <laughs> Pinch, pinch here and a pinch, pinch there. Here a pinch, there a pinch. <laughs> I cracked myself up. The old days. The very old days. The very, 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 very old days. There were no cars, trains or buses. Or planes or bicycles. Or anything that would help people go from here to there. Except their two feet. Well, that's right. People had to walk everywhere. Or sometimes run. <coughs> So, when people in the old days, the very old days, wanted to move from one cave to another, they weren't very happy about having to walk so far. Especially if they were carrying all their stuff. Their leader sometimes needed to give them a very good reason to move. It's me move from here to there. What's that, Anthony? Have a listen. My hungry tummy. I'm here. The fridge is there. See ya. I think we should follow Anthony. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. This is where Burnett's granddaughter, Lily, comes into our story. She lives with her mom and dad in the big city. A few hours train ride from Shining Time. She sees magic no one else has time to, like lovely reflections of light on a rainy day. I think he wants to communicate. Soon, she was off to stay with her grandpa, on Muffle Mountain. My playroom. Grandpa's been so sad since Grandma Tasha died, and he never comes here to see us. And, uh, what's other? You get his present? Here. I'm making him a friendship bracelet. No. But I'd rather just stay here with you. I finally meet a guy that likes me, and he sees my scar. He'll just stop talking to me for no reason. I'm gonna go up this way. Okay. Be careful. You always say that. Don't! See you in a minute. You're coming with me to Grandpa's Bluebird. 
I know how much you like to travel. Why? Why? It's no use, Gilligan. That duck's not going anywhere but in a pot. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Emily. Our lives depend on it. Why? Far away on Sodor, the steam engines were confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by Diesel. Yeah, I'd rather work my way into it. Only James, who now felt really useful, too, was complaining. What I want you to say, huh? How about, uh, I'm sorry, I've been lying to you since the first day that we started dating, huh? How about that? The fifth Puffy Pistons? Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. He's gone. James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> I said get away from me! Bossy sprockets. All that steam has gone to your funnel. I've hit rock bottom. Hey, there they are. We'll fix their wagons. I'm not good at that, you know. Me neither. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Not at all. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. Hey, how come you know more about medicine than a doctor? Routine flyby, chaps. Hello. <laughs> the boss dumps sneezing powder everywhere. <laughs> Let's start laughing now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, fruits. Bit of a dust up. Love to stay and clean up. Got to go. Bye now. <laughs> hey, did you mean to look like that? Uh, no. Hey, neither did I. This must be Diesel's doing. Uh, choo, choo. You'll be shot for this. No, I don't think so. More like chewed out. I've been chewed out before. My wife said she couldn't miss our little holiday. We'll telephone to make sure you have arrived. Signed, Sir Topham Hatt. Can't get enough of them. Oh, pick up the damn phone! Oh, good afternoon, sir. A real honor, sir, like my family before me. And how is Lady Hat? Uh, yes. Watch out for Diesel, definitely. But keep an eye on Henry's health, certainly. Uh, yes, sir, the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Uh, I mean, I will be responsible, liable, and really useful. Yes, sir. We will all get a good night's sleep. Looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You can run this whole park from this room with minimal staff for up to three days. You think that kind of automation is easy? Eager. On delivery, 50,000 more for each viable embryo. That's 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Oh, I'll get them all. Would you fellas care to join me? No? What would you rather do instead? Go outside and play? Well, I can understand that. What do you think? <laughs> what, what do you worry about? Oh, this is uh, the television, the newspapers, all the shit's up there. What are you worried about? You worry too much. Everything is beautiful. There's nothing to worry about. Then you tell them. I didn't tell them yet. Is it this? 
disaster. Gotta go. It isn't ashes, it's diesel. Diesel? No, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, Twinkle Toes. Long live the king. You can't catch me, Diesel. They're gone. <laughs> Losing your sparkle, huh? What perfect timing. Now, where is that lost engine? You won't find her here. You're not clever enough to stop me. Oh, yes, I am. Where's Dr. Evil, huh? Where is he? No, you're not. Uh, what is that? That's right. It's sugar, Diesel. And if I throw this in your tank, it'll seize you up for good. Oh. Oh. Why on earth did you hit that woman? Oh, yeah. Make the most of tonight, Twinkle Toes, because you won't like tomorrow. Neither will that, that line of tin kettles. I am family. It's the hyenas who are the real enemy. Mr. Conductor, but what happened to your sparkle? I don't know, Thomas. I'll just have to sleep on that. On your sparkle? No, Thomas. And the problem of what happened to him. Oh, but Mr. Conductor, without your sparkle or the lost engine, you can't travel here to help us anymore. I'll solve the problem. You just go to sleep now. Not like this. Burke. Carter Burke. I work for the company. But don't let that fool you. I'm really an okay guy. I'll... These people are dead, Burke! Don't you have any idea what you've done here? Well, I'm gonna make sure that they nail you right to the wall for this. You're not gonna sleaze your way out of this one. Right to the wall. Negotiate million dollar deals for breakfast. I think I can handle this Euro trash. Hey, Brick and talk, huh? Easy for you to say. Booby. Crazy. Nightmare. Oh. I thought I was the liar. Hey, I can explain that. Hey, Benny! Looks to me like you're on the wrong side of the river! Okay. is in danger. I've got to find more gold dust. No! The first to know every day. Star with sunrise. Good morning, everybody. Hello. When you get up and want to know the latest, start with sunrise. The entire ride is on. Sizzling day for Australia. It was magical. This is just an appalling situation. This takes so much stress off so many families. If they know to perform a miracle, people are going above and beyond to help our neighbours. And that's when you see the best of people. Welcome to Australia. Very excited about this. Thank you very much. It's Jimmy Barnes Day. We start with sunrise.